Hi everyone, welcome to the Urban Sewing Society where we bring fashion and creativity. Really Jax? Jax, come here. This is Jax. And he often interrupts tapings like he just did. Yeah, you interrupted the taping. Mm -hmm. Do you feel bad about it? Any remorse? None. <laughs> Welcome to the Urban Sewing Society where we bring fashion and creativity to your neighborhood. My name is Jen and I'm the Urban Sewist. And this is Jax. The interrupter. Today's DIY is something that I'm so excited about. I love peplums. I love peplum tops. I love peplum jackets. And you know why I love it? Because it gives shape and form to your garment. I love that. And it's something that's so easy to add on. And today I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is my inspiration. I saw these pictures on Pinterest and I thought, that looks DIYable. I'm gonna take this jacket and turn it into this jacket. If you subtract out the time that it took me to wash it, then it took about 45 minutes. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell so that you can get updates every time I release a new video. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links are listed below in the description. Okay, so let's get started with supplies. For this DIY, I use this crop denim distressed jacket from Forever 21. I also pulled out of my pile some leftover jeans that I had from previous projects. I had one, two, three pairs of jeans that I thought I was going to have to use to make the peplum. I ended up only using two. I folded the jacket under about two inches and I realized there was a lot of additional space in the jacket that needed to be taken out. So I was going to need to put some darts in the sides and in the back. So I marked two inches from the bottom with my chalk, drew a straight line, and then cut that excess fabric off the bottom. I also thought about the leftover jeans that I had, and I really like this pocket from a Levi's pair of jeans, and I thought it would look really nice in the back of the jacket. So use my seam ripper and started seam ripping away. Once that was done, I was able to take that pocket, center it on the back, pin it down, flip the jacket over, cut the excess off the bottom all the way around. And one thing's for sure, don't ever throw away your scraps. You never know when you may need them. I then began to create the darts in the side, in the back, and on the side front to take up some of the slack in the jacket. One of the characteristics of a peplum is a more cinched waist and then it flares out at the bottom. After taking in the correct amount, I measured the bottom so that I would make sure that the top of my peplum matched how much needed to go around the full jacket. Then I pulled out those spare pairs of jeans, opened them up, using the center seam and begin to create the peplum. The next step is to create a pattern for the peplum. And I did this kind of freehand instead of creating a pattern, but I would suggest that you use some scrap fabric, maybe muslin, maybe tissue paper to create your peplum. You wanna make sure that it is even on both sides and that you measure it so that each piece matches. So I just took mine and laid one right on top of the other on top of the other. I ended up using four pants legs to make two peplum for this jacket. I ended up with four pieces for the top and four pieces for the bottom. I pinned them together on the sides and then went to my sewing machine and stitched them together as well as stitching the darts. 
I had two darts in the back, two darts on the side, and everything matched up really, really well. The top of the peplum fit very nicely to the jacket. I sewed the back pocket on first, and I broke several needles during this process. So make sure that you have extra needles while you're sewing because I think I broke four during this project. Sewing over some of the already sewn seams makes it really, really thick, and I just don't think my machine could handle it really well. Here I am finishing up sewing the peplum attachments together. And then my next step was to run a stitch along the bottom because I'm going to take this piece and I'm gonna throw everything in the washing machine so that it can start to fray and I didn't want the fraying to go too far up the peplum. I love the idea of the bottom of the peplum being frayed as well as the jacket being distressed. Here I attached the peplum to the jacket and again, because I measured, everything fit together really nicely. I eased it in just a little bit to make sure that it fit, stitched around it and once again, this was another place where when I was sewing, I broke yet another needle. And here is the peplum attached to the jacket. What I knew I then needed was a finishing stitch. So I ran an edge stitch along the seam to make sure that it was laid down and I broke yet another needle. Needle number three. Now that I'm on my third broken needle, I quickly went over to Amazon and ordered a 50 pack. Yeah, because clearly this is happening regularly. And I sew a lot of denim. And when you're refashioning, sometimes you're sewing over two and three and four layers. It's likely you're gonna break a needle. So now I'm just finishing up the edges. After I did this, I threw it in the washing machine and then I also threw the second peplum in the washing machine and then attached it afterwards. Um, and I'm really pleased the way it came out. And what a great addition to my fall wardrobe. So thank you guys for listening. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Leave any comments below. Please give me a thumbs up. And I hope I'll see you next week with next week's refashioning video. Enjoy the mini fashion show.